So today in Valdesum's macroglobulinia, we have very uh, active therapies, which can be defined, divided in two categories. One, fixed duration chemoimmunotherapy, and the other is continuous therapy with BTK inhibitors. So far we had the BTK inhibitor Ibrutinib, which is a very active drug. However, we now have two additional uh, BTK inhibitors, Acalabrutinib and Zanubrutinib. Zanubrutinib has also been uh, compared to Ibrutinib in a prospective uh, randomized study, it has shown to be at least uh, as efficacious and perhaps a little more than Ibrutinib, but more safe. So, first of all, we have a new BTK inhibitor that uh, seems to be better tolerated than the previous one that we have. We also have a non-covalent uh, BTK inhibitor, pirtobrutinib, which seems to be active even in patients who have failed ibrutinib, either because of toxicity or because of disease progression, and also with a more favorable safety profile. Uh, in the near future, I see we, that we will also have data for uh, bispecific uh, antibodies targeting CD20 and uh, CD3. Uh, also, probably we will have data, and we already have some but limited data for um, uh, CAR T cells targeting CD19. And um, there are some additional new agents, such as drugs, that target BTK not by blocking BTK, but um, enhancing the degradation of BTK. Uh, these are called products. So, I think that in the near future, we will have much more options for our patients with Valdesum's macrobulinemia.